Plonk recently received a firmware update that adds a few fun new features along with some minor bug fixes and improvements to pitch tracking. First of all, the noise envelope can now be applied to the high pass and low pass filters rather than just the amplitude. The envelope amount for each filter can be applied positively or negatively, and both parameters can be assigned to the X, Y, and mod destinations. Another new exciting parameter has been added to the mod destination, resonator pitch. This means that the resonator section can now receive frequency modulation in addition to the one volt per octave input. Remember that you can press the mod button a second time to access the modulation depth control to choose how subtle or drastic that you want the effect to be. Finally, the config menu has been reorganized a little and a gate delay or latency setting has been added. This allows you to compensate for the timing of sequencers that don't stabilize their pitch until after the gate has gone high. Latency can now be reduced to around 2 milliseconds, much more speedy than the previous 6 milliseconds. While it's not a new feature, it's worth mentioning that with Plonk's AHR noise envelope, with the ratio set fully to noise, it's possible to make Plonk infinitely sustain by sending a steady positive voltage. In this case, I'm using the gate output from Planar 2, but a quadrat works or even the pulse output from Rubicon if it's set fully clockwise. This technique allows you to create Plonk drones, which is a lot of fun with the new Resonator Pitch Mod. These new features make Plonk even more flexible and capable, so we're excited to hear how you put them to use. Thanks for watching.